Saturday, we have a treat for you. Guest artist Jessa Ray Growing Thunder. Be sure and come back and see some of this incredible beadwork. <laughs> hey everybody! Oh my god, we're so excited. I'm so excited. You all asked for beadwork and your wishes are my command. And I didn't just bring you any beadwork, I brought you the best. <laughs> I might be a little biased though because Jess is one of my favorite human or soul sisters. We are so soul sisters. <laughs> so everybody, this is Jess Ray Growing Thunder and she's a third generation beadwork and quillwork artist and her mom is actually back there watching. Um, so feel free to talk and, and join in. We like an interactive experience. Okay. All right. Uh, and then we have Holden back there directing. Hello. And of course I'm Unji. So if you're new to the show, welcome. We're Turquoise Skies, and on Saturdays we bring in an artist from the community. And this is all of the artist's work. They set their own prices. We just facilitate the sale. Uh, we take a small commission, but everything else goes to the artist, and it's our way of giving back to the community and strengthening the community and encouraging um, this expression of art and storytelling, which is so important to so many different cultures. Um, and Jessa is Dakota Nakota. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hama Takiapi, a betu wash day. Shikina doza homia imakiapi. Chante wash day yuha chujapi. Good day to all my relations out there. Uh, my name is Jessa Ray Gory Thunder. I come from the Buffalo Nation. I am Sisi Tuma Wapetuwa Dakota and Wadobana Tuwa Nakota. Um, my reservation is actually in the far northeast corner of Montana. So we sit right on the border of Canada and North Dakota. So way far north. And, um, but I currently live here in Albuquerque, um, hence my soul sister here. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to be here today and, and to show some of my work. Yeah. And if you had the pleasure of joining us on Wednesday, we did an in-depth discussion with Jessica. She's doing so many amazing things um, from getting her PhD to writing a dissertation about storytelling and beadwork. So go back and check that out if you get a chance. Um, and again, if you're new to the show and um, you don't know how this works, what we do is we're going to have every piece of jewelry has an item number, as you see right here. Um, try to stay with us in order so we don't get confused. But when we get to the number and you see something that you want and you have to have it, just be the first person to type in that item number and the word sold, and it's yours. And sometimes it's a race. So literally whoever says it first, even if it's by a second, they're the winner. And then we just need your email address to be able to invoice you. And you can send that to us through a direct message or you can email us at hello at tskies.com or call us here locally at 505-862-9443. If it's the weekend, you can leave us a message. And if you're the first person with that timestamp, um, it still qualifies, you will still get the piece. I think we're gonna sell out today though, so. Um, there may not be anything left once we stop being live <laughs> for you to come back and buy. <laughs> um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to cover. Everything else is usually for the non-artist shows. Um, but we do have a Facebook group called Inner Circle that you're all welcome to join. And that's where we talk about jewelry, share jewelry pictures. Um, some of our artists are part of that as well. So, All right, who's ready to start looking at some jewelry? It's been quiet up there. Who's watching? Who's with us? Uh, I see you all on there. <laughs> We've got 57 eyes on us. I don't like it when you guys are quiet. We need audience <laughs> participation and precipitation. I don't know. All right, should we get started? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, cool. Oh, we're going to get started. The, third, the first thing we're going to look at, hey, Carol, are some of these... What would you like to, how do you call these bags? Uh, yeah, so these are gonna be neck pieces. Um, these are uh, neck bags. Um, so th these are actually really, really fun um, because this is an idea that I've actually gotten inspired by my grandma. My grandma actually beads these um, as well. And so my grandma is a third, um, I'm a third generational beadwork and quillwork artist. Um, and so I, I always try to really follow my, what my grandma does. Um, and so, um, these are the shape of them are actually inspired by um, a woman's belt bag that she would wear on her belt um, to keep you know you know us girls we gotta always have our bag handy um, but these are gender neutral um, so it's a neck piece um, they're actually pouches so they're made with size 16 beads I mean 13s sorry um, 
and this is smoked buckskin and so there's actually a little pouches in here um, you can carry some nifty stuff in there if you want um, you can carry some sage in there you can carry some rocks um, and so they're all traditional designs um, great colors great blues um, I really really love these um, he, my husband is always after these he's always he always wants these and I think it's really fun too because they're gender neutral and so I'm able to wear it my husband's able to wear yeah. them um, and each one is we have three of them today and each one is completely unique and one of a kind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and what's the price on these ones Jessica? Um the price on those are 450 so this is number one it's 450 do we know how long this is um, no. let's give it a little measure Let's give it a and then I'm going to have you try it on so they can have a reference of the length on this one. I'm not my doodad here. My daughter always plays with the measuring tapes, and so <laughs> I never know where my measuring tapes are. So <laughs> most of the time I never measure anything. <laughs> 16 in ah, it hangs 16 inches, so 32 inches total. Let's go to camera one, and we'll see what it looks like on. Oh, that's a nice spot for it. Yeah, it hangs really nice, and like I said, there's um, there's a nice button in there. It's an actual pouch. Um, honestly, these, I mean, if you if you didn't want to wear them, you could literally just display them like art. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, have we mentioned sure. Jessa's got a, uh, an exhibit right now at the Herd Museum? Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, it's just a matter of time before a lot of these things become very sought after collectors' items. Her, I mean. The work that your mother and your grandma do are collector's items, I'm sure. Absolutely. That Absolutely. You are not far behind in that regard. So if you are curious about getting this beautiful bag, you guys, all you have to do is type number one and the word sold, and it is yours. Can so beautiful blues, there is this really nice green that goes around it that actually shows up really, really well in, in the sunlight. That, that green really pops. Um, and I just like, I, I'm, I come from the Ochete Shikami people. I come from um, the Great Sioux Nation and, you know, and a lot of our beadwork and you'll see here today is we love our blues. Um, blue is very predominant in our beadwork. Um, and these are traditional designs. Um, but I just love that hint of green in there. Let's go to our other camera angle. I like sometimes the way the color pops in that one. Oh yeah, see, there you go. Now you can really see the way that green pops in there. Sometimes our, this camera one here, our close-up camera, makes things a little too bright. But this is a really good um, example mm -hmm. of the colors on it. And I will show you the back. So, yep, it's all done on buckskin. Um, I always make sure to use the best material that I can find. Um, so this is smoked buckskin, so this is this is deer, um, and it's spring tanned, um, meaning that it's all naturally done, um, hand, hand tanned, um, and then smoked to give it that nice color. I like that color a lot. I love it. Do you and do then, the tanning? Uh, no, it is actually like a really, really like specific knowledge, and like I just oh, okay. haven't been fortunate enough to, to gain that knowledge yet. Well, in my you, life, but. you are still spring chicken there, Jessa. There's some time. <laughs> <laughs> so here's as uh, the second one. I believe that's the teepee design. Yes, it is. Good we, eye. Did we talk about the, what the design is on the first one? Is there anything we need to talk about? Um, one? this first one. So this first one, um, it has... Um, Let's go back to number one for just a minute. We're backtracking. We're backtracking. Okay. Um, so these are these are stars that we see here. So um, it, it's just kind of symbolizing how we're always guided by the stars. Um, really simple designs, but really striking. Um, stars are really common in Sioux beadwork. Um, like I said, the same with those blues. Um, that hint of green um, you'll occasionally see in beadwork. So earthy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it goes really well with the color of the hide. Yes, definitely. Complimentary colors. All right. And so this one is number two. And so this one, um, I love this one because of I that pink too. and the blue. Yeah, same. Oh, I love it. Um, and so this one is... Um, 
is another neck piece. Um, it's the same, like it's a it's a pouch inspired by uh, those women's bags that um, would normally go on their belt. So that shape is what we're where we're getting that from. Um, and then so it is a pouch. There's nice. I'm so sorry, my nails and are, are not very. I know, Sam. <laughs> I'm a theater, you can tell. <laughs> um, so this is a teepee design, um, as well as having those two little stars right there. Um, and so the, the teepees are, are common in Ochete Chikami beadwork. Um, the same with those colors, you know, those those heavy blues, um, the nice pop of white and pink. I love that the pink is not like over the top pink, which, you know, I love me some over the top pink. <laughs> but it's a really nice, just subtle, mm -hmm. subtly feminine color. I'm going to just double check the length on this one because I feel like it might be a little different than the one we just yeah, saw. Yeah, they're all going to be different lengths and that's just... Because well, yeah. they're all one of a kind. Yeah, they're all one of a kind. So this... The necklace bit of this is 15 inches long, so it's going to be 30 inches total. Let's have you put it on to see. Oh, um, they want to know the measurement of the pouch. Carol, the pouch is a, about two and a half inches long. And this is going to be the same price as the one before, so it's $4.50. Um, if you want to pop that info up there for me, Holden, that would be fabulous. Thank you. And it hangs just about the same, just a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher. I love it. It's tons of fun because this, these are something that I could feel like you can layer really well. Oh, um, yeah. A lot of the times yeah. like I see them layered with, um, you know, great turquoise because turquoise and the blues always go really well together. So. <laughs> I'm trying, there we go. <laughs> Just like an arm in the coming in at you. I'm Sorry. all about layering. I'm all about like if I can, you know, like, like you got going on today, you got some yeah. nice layering with your necklaces. Um, so it's something you can layer, but it's also something like you can dress up. Um, and there we go. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Are you good with the notes there, Holden? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so... Do you want to do the drum? I feel like you'll do a better oh. job than me. I get a little wild with that. What do I do? Just say thank you and give them a little oh, drum. Oh, thank you. Can you. Lift, lift it up if you want. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Carol. All right. We're going to switch gears now. To look at some earrings. Yay! We love us some earrings. Yeah, we do. Ooh, let, oh, look at that. What a beautiful shot. I'm killing that. it with the camera there, Holden. I love that. Look mm. at that. So these are my dancing dragonflies. Um, that's what I, I love to call these. Um, I was actually inspired because in the summertime, um, I actually traveled to South Dakota to um, go be with my family for ceremony out in Rosebud. And uh, during ceremony, it, it never fails that the dragonflies come out and they dance with everybody. And, you know, they, there's very, like, if you ever watched, just next time you have a chance and you're, you're watching dragonflies, you know, really pay attention to the way they dance. Um, you know, the male dragonflies really, like, flutter all over the place. You know, they're really showy. And the, the female dragonflies really kind of just hover um, and, and bounce. And it's really beautiful to watch. And so... You know, last year during the pandemic, you know, we're all isolated, staying at home. I was really inspired and in, in thinking about, you know, oh, I really miss family. I miss ceremony. I miss, you know, I miss all of these things. And I started to really miss the dragonflies. Mm. And so that's when I started doing this style. I call them the dancing dragonflies. Um, so these are all made with size six or 13. Why do I keep saying 16? Um, these are all made with size 13 seed beads. Um, and those gold that you see there, those are actually 24 karat gold size 13 seed beads. Um, I feel like you should go to this camera. Yeah, I think so. Let's do camera. There we go. There we go. And so um, each dragonfly is uh, one inch long. Um, and so they they kind of, like I wanted to create that motion that they are, they're actually dancing. And so um, it's all really, really... Um, you know, like I love the motion it's just of playful. them. Yeah, yeah, like they swing around. Yeah, and then these are gold beads, correct? Yeah, those are. Did you say that already? Yeah, they're twenty-four karat gold beads. All of the findings are gold filled, um, and then that nice little dangle in the bottom is actually mother of pearl. Yes. And the price on these? Um, the pi price on those ones are three fifty. They're tons of fun. I love them. I love my dancing dragonflies. And they're on buckskin. And they are on buckskin. I love the color combo with the 
It's almost like a garnet color, like a almost like a raspberry with the gold. It yeah. just plays really well together. And so that's actually a really neat detail that this is something different I've done this time. Let's go to this camera real fast. With them. Should we turn the spinning off? I feel like the spinning. Oh, sure. Be... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hit or miss with the spinning. It's our new toy. Sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's like chasing the jewelry around. <laughs> and so like, um, this is something new that I've done with, with this batch of Dancing Dragonflies is that center one you'll see, those are actually mountain designs in the dragonfly. And so it's this like staggered triangle design and those to sim that's to symbolize mountains. Um, and I really liked putting that extra detail in there because it just, it makes me always think about, you know, when we were traveling, which is always a symbol of mountains, right, is traveling. You know, those dragonflies were always a reinforcement of life. And mm -hmm. so it always meant we could, you know, we could they sustain there. They, they signaled where the water was going to be, Yeah, right? exactly. And again, these are 350. So you can pop that up there, hold in, and I will measure them. And then maybe Jessica can model them for us. Oh. Heck yeah, I love to model some earrings. Ooh, four inches long. I am on a quest for the longest earrings possible. <laughs> I want some that literally go down to my knees. Think you can make that happen? <laughs> so they hang really nice. Oh like God, you can see, like they so got some nice pretty. motion to them. But like they, you know, they look like they're dancing. Yeah, put both of them up. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna decorate. I you. love this. I'm like, usually the one that ha that does this, so it's fun to have somebody else play dress up. <laughs> I'm like. Bring me back every week. Let's play dress up. Yeah. Um, and so you can see, like, they, they do. Like, they always make me think of those dancing dragonflies because there's so much motion in them. I love the way they hang, the way they mm. dangle. There's movement in them. Yeah. Gorgeous. So these are number three, everybody. 24 karat gold seed beads. And it's a dragonfly design. I, are these? What's the pro proper thing? Are they handcrafted or are they handmade? They're handmade. They're completely handmade. Um, I'm I'm not a very fast beater. I will be honest. <laughs> like I, I, I really like appreciate when you know people are you know fast beaters and everything because like this is all time consuming. Like I, I do all this with my own hands. Um, oh yeah, it's and, yeah, no and, joke. And I'm a mom too, so like I, ha I have a toddler oh, you like have running a around. One year old. So I'm like. I can't imagine. It takes me so long to do stuff. I was <laughs> just trying to edit some photos today. It took hours <laughs> just to like do a simple little edit because today was the day she decided she wasn't going to sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are, <laughs> those are like, Fridays. Yeah. Mom, please. Just 15 minutes. <laughs> I beg of thee. All right. And these ones are the sterling ones, correct? Yeah. So these are all done in sterling silver. So um, it's the same three tier dancing dragonflies. Um, so these were, I love these colors, so like these, these are kind four of, and a half, but they're a little longer, I think, than the last ones. A little bit longer. It might be because of the drops are going to be mm -hmm. different on these ones. Um, so those, those nice blues, um, that are in there and the same details with those mountain designs that are on the blue dragonflies. I'm trying to find our angle here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need a scooch. There we go. There you go. I'm getting there. We need a taller. There we go. <laughs> I got it figured out. And the price on these ones are? Um, the price on those are $325. $325. And so these are all done in size 13 seed beads. Um, and those silver beads that you see in there that are um, on the middle dragonflies and around the edging, those are sterling silver beads. And it's all sterling silver findings. Um, and then the drops that I have on the bottom are a really nice like teardrop abalone. And then I included a little tassel. I'm all about the tassels, y'all. Mm -hmm. Love me some tassels. I love the way you said tassels on them. It's just like that little extra movement. Yeah, and, it, and I think it really pulls out the pink that you see in those blue dragonflies. Absolutely. Do these have the mountain design as well? They sure mm -hmm, do. They do. I love these ones. I think these ones are, are like be quickly becoming my favorite I've ever done. <laughs> I, I was so thrilled with those that color combination is one of my favorites. There we go. Thank you, Holden. Let's see if I can show you that mountain design on there. Let's have you put them on. Yeah.
skin. They have this nice kind of dangle. They sound good too. Yeah, they kind of they, they have a music to them. Yeah, that's cool. So these are number four. If you want to take these beauties home, just type in number four and the word sold, and they're yours. I love how they sound. I think it's the uh, abalone. Yeah, clicking oh, sounds cool. <laughs> it actually kind of sounds like, like the flutters. Like the flutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah. Cool. Right, shall we move on to number five? Yeah. Okay, wait, you're better at like uh, yeah. maneuvering and seeing and like <laughs> seeing the screen. <laughs> Ooh. How's everybody doing out there? You guys having a good weekend? That was number four, so we're moving to number five, right? Yep. Five, coming on up. Ooh, I like this deep turquoise and stars on these ones. Oh my god, how fun. So these, I, I love these colors as well. Um, and I think, I don't know, we gotta figure out a way to get like that color to come through because this is like a deep, this is called Montana blue. This is one of my favorite blues because it's one of those ones where the sun, like once the sun hits it, you see that richness in it. Um, so. Again, um, these are all size 13 seed beads. Um, nice little stars down there. Yeah, and then these really nice drops that I, uh, I, I thought these were so fun. So um, the white, there's two, two things going on here on the drops. So that white behind there, that's that mother of pearl. And then these stars that are hanging in front of them are abalone. Let's pop over here to camera two, and I'm going to work on trying to get the color to come through. There we go. That looks close. Yeah, yeah. So this is Montana blue. This is such this Montana beautiful, blue. Oh my God. beautiful blue. I love that name too. Yeah, and then um, again with those mountain designs in there, and you know I have some pearly whites, and then that pink. I always admire the pop of pink. I love pink. This is these are my wedding colors. Did you know that? Really? A navy blue, like a yeah, a navy blue, and like a coral pink, like a peachy. I love pink. that. I love that. It's my favorite color combo. All right, so these are number five, and the price on these are? Uh, also 325 three twenty five yes. for these ones. So these are sterling silver beads in here, you guys. Everything that looks silver is silver. Yes, yes. Um, Montana blue dragonflies with little star shells down here. 325 Yes. And let's go over to camera three. And we'll have Jessica try them on. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god, I'm insanely in love with these. All of these. All, I mean, all of them. <laughs> Just like every, when I see them up there, I'm like, <gasps> We do have some that are a little shorter coming up, Margaret. Yes, we do. I guess Margaret doesn't want earrings down her knees like me. I forget <laughs> that not everybody is like quite as flamboyant as I am about some things. And, and the thing about all of these is they're extremely lightweight. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, because they're not going to pull your ears down. No, no. Like, the I I am the type of person where, like, I love earrings, I love jewelry, but um, I, I if I'm wearing them all day long, I don't like to feel like mm -hmm. I'm wearing them all yeah, day long. Yeah, 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 because you start, I start taking them off, and then I lose them, and it's just a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a total mess. But, yeah, these are extremely lightweight, um, tons of fun, great movement. Oh, look at that. I just love those colors. So pretty. Like, let me just way with them. <laughs> I want to put some on so I can sway with you. <laughs> so fun. See, this is like the dream job, right? You just get to play with the jewelry all day. Oh my god. I love, this is another color combo that is to die for. The gold and the raspberry pinks are like the garnet color? What, yeah. would you, what color would you say that is? I would say like that raspberry, right? Like that, that lighter, because it's like a, it's a pearly color too. Um, that lighter red that you see in there, let's call that like raspberry pearl. Ooh, let's raspberry dub it pearl. Let's it. dub it. Um, and then of course that, yeah, that rich garnet that's underneath, and then that abalone drop. I love that abalone in there because it really brings out the reds and the golds. Um, I love using abalone on things because the abalone, um, it, it, like abalone has so many col colors in it, and so when you put it against anything, it's going to make those colors pop. That's so true. Mm -hmm. So this is coming through a little dark down here, but it's a garnet color. 
We'll go to camera two here in a second. So these are 275. There you go. You can see this. 275 on these ones. Hey, Christina. We are only on number six. And they so are going to be about just a little over three and a quarter inches long. Three and a quarter inches on these guys. They're and the same, you know, that's all 24 karat gold, um, size 13 seed beads. Um, he did it on buckskin, handmade. I make everything when I'm not chasing my toddler around. <laughs> <laughs> so much love and energy goes in it. Tell us a little bit about uh, beading and recap a little bit of what we talked about on Wednesday. Um, so beading, um, let's go to camera one, hold on if you get a chance. And so I've been beading since really I was about three years old when I picked up my first needle and thread. Um, I'm a third generational um, artist. And so my mom and my grandma, they beat every single day. Like they don't take breaks. Like I should say. Even on vacation, you said. Yeah, cause like my, did my did mom with all your beads. <laughs> yeah, she had a suitcase full of beads and porcupine quills, and um, that's how they travel. And I'm, I think I'm gonna start documenting it every time I see them travel with a suitcase of beads, like take a picture of it and then have you an should. album. You Definitely. <laughs> and so um, I, I picked up my first needle and thread when I was three. Um, three? Yeah, yeah, cause it's natural, right? Like when you see your oh, parents yeah. doing something every day, like you just like instinctively know like okay this is what I'm supposed to be doing mm -hmm. um, and so by the time I was five I started selling my beadwork at Santa Fe Indian Market um, and amazing. yeah so I've been I've been at a, and my market baby yeah. I have my first market I was a week old oh my gosh <laughs> that's so cool. oh speaking of market you're gonna be at Santa Fe Indian Market this year in August and your booth number is well, tell them what the, um, let's type that in Holden booth number W A space E space 415 so number W A E 415 so that's Washington Avenue East mm -hmm. number 415 and this is for Santa Fe Indian Market yeah so I've been showing my work at market for god how old am I <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like 25 <laughs> thank you yeah that's 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 25. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have you put these on too while you talk. To yeah. Us. So um, the thing that I love about beadwork and quill work and, and being able to be an artist um, full time is, you know, like, you know, these these are traditions that have been. Oh no! It's the gremlins. It's the gremlins. She told me there was gremlins. <laughs> We're okay. It looks fine. We're okay. Yeah, they're good. They're fine. Um, is that I can. Um, I can be at home with my daughter. I can um, like continue on our traditions and help do my, whatever I can to help guarantee that they're here and it's, that they're it's, thriving. It's such an incre incredible concept to think um, of artists, like to be a working artist. Mm -hmm. Like Jessa and so many of the guest artists that come on here, they feed and support their families through their jewelry and their artwork. And that to me is just amazing. And you know, that's how I was raised. Like my, my mom was a single mom and um, she's an artist mm. and like this is just what we do I mean like I remember it's the being, family biz it's the family biz <laughs> everybody in my family and like I, I recognize how special that is and how um, unique that is and I'm just really grateful so these ones that Jessa has on are number six. Oh, look at they go with my dress they really do love them and they're going for 275 and they are gold 24 karat gold beads on these ones guys Move on to seven. You are better at all this than, than me. Today I am. <laughs> Sometimes I'm dropping things and forgetting words. I forgot what I forgot the word prenatal the other day. And I was sitting here I was like on camera live, like the the baby, the doctor for the baby, the thing, the healthcare thing. And I was just like, what? <laughs> Did I have a stroke before I came to work? Like what is happening to me right now? Finally Marco saved me. <laughs> That's the week I've had. Okay, so these are seven. Another two-tier dragonfly design. Yeah, so these ones have this really kind of great um, like turquoise color in them. Um, this top tier actually has some like smaller different style of mountains going in them. 
um, that are white and so they kind of give off this like really really neat detail to them you see how there's like this rainbow shimmer in that that turquoise yes. piece every pair of earrings is my new favorite pair of earrings I love show. them because they bring out yeah they bring out there there I have again the the mother of pearl and then the abalone star on top um, so yeah, I mean, it's just tons of fun. Like I love, I love these color combi combinations together and having that abalone on the bottom, I think brings out that turquoise color. Mm-hmm. I love the iridescence in these turquoise beads. They really catch the light. So again, these are 275. Um, all sterling silver, um, size 13 seed beads. Um, all sterling silver findings. Did you come up with this design yourself? Yes, I did. Oh, cool. And it was just inspiration from, you know, being in South Dakota, being there, in, you know, there for ceremony and, you know, seeing, see, watching those dragon, dragonflies dance. Like yeah. it just, it's one of the most beautiful things, my most favorite things to be watching. Um, That's okay, you can go back to that one. I think this one shows the color better. Oh yeah, see like pair. you could kind of get that like rainbow shimmer in there. Yeah, I love that. And if you guys have any questions for Jessa, please feel free to pop them into the comments. Oh, definitely. And these are number seven. Seven. Claim for two seven. Lucky five. number seven. Ooh. All right, what do we, oh, okay, now we're going into some of the big, dramatic, bold statement pieces. Oh, these are fun. These are my favorite. I love all of these. All of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this lime green color. So it's this really, okay, so these are morning stars. Um, and again, like, being in the pandemic, I'm, I'm just kind of like lonesome and isolated and just kind of missing everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can all relate to that. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I again was just thinking about um, you know being home um, in South Dakota with with my family and you know during the ceremony. How they dance? Yeah, look at that. Just it's like stars. Just like stars, they look to shimmer. Um, and so being there in the in the mornings, you know, we have to get up before the sun Ooh, rises. Look at that color. Look Holy at that. Moly. I love that. Um, 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold. All size 13 seed beads. Beaded on buckskin. How long does it take you to make a pair like this? Um, so a pair, see, so like it's hard to gauge time because with my toddler, I, I work well, in like I think 20 that minute increments. That counts. <laughs> um, I would say like if I, if I wasn't chasing my toddler around, um, it could take me anywhere from a full day to a day and a half to do a pair of earrings. Um, so, I mean, that's what my, my price was after Reflect is like my, oh, yeah, my time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. My this materials. All, yeah, not just that, but um, I think a lot of times when people are buying art, what they don't take into consideration is the time that it took to learn and to perfect. Oh, totally. Totally. Um, and just that knowledge, that ancestral generational knowledge that you're holding, mm -hmm. which is really priceless actually but mm -hmm. so these are 350 I just love these colors They're I so love those pretty. greens with the gold oh, you know I and I'm not like a big green person but just for whatever reason I was like you know what this green and that it's gold spring green let's go to camera three One day we're going to have a designated camera person. There we go. This this is more, a little bit of toned down. This is actually closer to what they look like in person. Mm -hmm. So they're like these, it's it's almost like an olive green. Um, I don't know who all is watching. That's like really great with colors. Um, I'm, I'm slowly learning in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's this really kind of great, like um, it's like a lighter olive green. Um, but sometimes when the sun hits it, it's like this, yeah, it's like this lime green almost. It um, reminds me of just when grass is just freshly starting to grow, like new buds and new flora. Like new life. I love yeah, that. Yeah, new life. 
I love that. So these are eight. We need to try these ones on because these ones yeah. are so fun. Let's do. I wear these around my house the night I finish them. Oh, I, pff, I wouldn't be able to give anything or like part with anything if I were you. <laughs> yeah, I, I like, cause um, I had, I'd never made anything like this before. Um, Mom life calls, I totally get you, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um yeah I when I finished them I was like oh my god I've never done anything like this but this is so fun so like I walked around the, I put them on and I walked around the house oh they look beautiful let's just leave them on for you for a second okay so those are number eight and they're going for what was it uh stars 350 for those ones and then we have another pair coming up these blue ones look how pretty those all look mm -hmm. so these blue morning stars um are all done with sterling silver I'm giving you all some options, sterling or gold. Mm -hmm. um, and this is that same, like, really pretty turquoise that we saw earlier. Um, that it, you know, when the sun hits it, it kind of gives off this, like, really almost like a rainbowy luster. It has that pink in it, too. Yeah, definitely. There's that, that hint of pink. And so, like, in the center, let's go to camera two of those pinks, you'll see that's another smaller star design done with a maroon color in the middle of that pink so I doubled up on the stars I guess tripled up on the stars quadruples quadruplized them <laughs> <laughs> these are so pretty what is the price on? oops 350 there. just like the morning you see that yeah. Oh, I love, that's one of my favorite colors also. That turquoise blue. It's like a, almost a Tiffany's teal. <laughs> I love And these that. are number nine, guys. Number nine on these. Going for 350. Put these back. Jessa has on number eight. And we're going to go to number nine. And then we're going to number 10. 10? 10. Oh, we're on 10. Can you hand me the little card? Yeah. There we go. So we got some florals now. Look at all that color. Holy moly. Um, so these are Dakota floral inspired um, earrings. And so Dakota floral beadwork is really, really fun because it's really bright, um, vivid, um, the sporadic uses of color. Um, so these are 375. Um, these are all done in size 13 seed beads, um, 24 karat gold beads, findings, and then this heart on the bottom is mother of pearl. These are so fun. Let's um, go to camera three for a close up on the. There we go. You can there see the There we go. Oh, I love these. Those are fun. Um, so this is a very specific style. Um, like I said, I, my reservation is Montana, but, um, you know, traditionally on my Dakota side, we, we come from Eastern homelands, um, specifically looking at Minnesota territory. And so, um, throughout colonization, um, many Dakota people were actually exiled from Minnesota, but, um, many communities were able to stay in Minnesota and that's, that's, you know, so we always acknowledge our Eastern relatives in, in this good way. And so something that is very specific to our Eastern styles of beadwork is um, these florals. And really where these like, you know, these bright vivid colors come from um, is really that um, in Minnesota, they were closer to the trade routes. Mm. And so when we started getting seed beads, they were the first to kind of have interaction with these bright colors, right? And so, sorry. <laughs> with these bright colors um yeah throw them on girl um they're actually like inspired of their natural environment as well right so like in these floral works you know it's often 
you know, they're beating the, the medicines and the plants that they know in the, in the Eastern homelands. And so mm. I love Dakota Floral work, like the bright, sporadic use of color. Um, it gets me out of my element. I don't do them often. I really don't, but I love them. <laughs> And I love how like they dangle, like I. I like how they move. Yeah, they flow. And again, they're not heavy. No, like these are all really lightweight. Like I, I don't like to make my stuff heavy. Like I like to make sure it's all lightweight. Yeah, especially in summertime or like when you're out and it's hot or humid, you don't want jewelry that weighs you down. So like they're good summer earrings. Definitely, they're good Indian market earrings. Yeah. <laughs> so these are three seventy five, and was there gold on these ones? Yes, there is. There's 24 awesome. karat gold, seed beads, and all the findings are all gold. And these are 10? I'm wearing 10. You're wearing 8. I'm wearing 8. Yeah. Okay. I guess I can... Yeah, let's put it... I'll get confused. <laughs> <laughs> it is a trip being able to, like, see yourself and... I know. And, and then, then put everything's backwards. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys are just tuning in, this is Jessa Ray Growing Thunder. And if you see a pair of earrings or a bag that you would like, just type in the item number and the word sold, and we will get it to you. This is our first beadwork show ever. So. This is exciting to me. Our last pair of earrings right oh here. Oh my gosh. On Wednesday, Auntie was wearing these. I, I put them on her for the show on Wednesday. Yeah, um, with a white shirt. Oh, they, my they God, looked they great. They were so beautiful. I kept staring at her. I probably looked like a weirdo. <laughs> You're like, I made those. <laughs> so, again, Ooh. these are Dakota Floral um, with uh, sterling silver, all size 13 seed beads. These are 375. Um, and so, Dakota Floral, sterling silver. Um, and then this nice like maroon tassel I have on the bottom like brings out like those more like that pink and that green. Like it really makes yeah. those colors pop. We'll go to camera two for a close up on everything. Oh look at that shine. Look at that sterling silver. You see that shine? Ooh, yeah. We get it in focus. There you go. There's that tassel. I love that color. Love me some tassels. And these are 375? Yes, 375. Oh, I've been so excited for this show. And then also just excited to see what you're going to bring. These, I have never done, like, I've been doing my dancing dragonflies, but I've never done these Dakota florals. Really? And I've never done the morning stars. Oh my so, God, I like, like an I was, old pro at them. I was really excited to be able to, like, have an opportunity to just kind of, like, expand play. on, yeah, and play. Because, you know, you have ideas and you just, it's nice to have the time to, like, sit there and, like, have gold and be like, Looks like we have a question there from Rosalind. Oh, they are actually all beaded on buckskin. So that's deer hide. Um, it's all naturally processed, um, brain tanned, tan, pan tanned. Um, that gives it that nice white color. So yeah, all natural material that is beaded on. And how do you care for something like this? Um, so of course, you know, like I'm sure you all know, like take, take care of your jewelry, mm -hmm. care for your, your earrings. Um, if ever needed, you could take a cosmetic sponge. Um, you know, like if you go to the drugstore, you mm -hmm. can get like those bags of like the white. Yeah, like a little triangular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's edges. a really get, great way to clean your beadwork if you ever need it. Um, with that being said, beadwork is actually really kind of durable. Mm. Um, like I have earrings that are probably, you know, 20 years old that oh, wow. look brand new. Well, it's glass. Well, and in this case, silver and gold, so that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you ever need it, um, cosmetic sponges are a great way to go. Um, I just love these. And don't leave them in your bathroom. This is a yeah, lesson you don't I've learned them the, wet. the hard way. You don't want to get them wet because they are beaded on buckskin, um, and, you know, moisture and buckskin just don't mix well. Not good. <laughs> All right, let's go to our last bag. This is 12. Not our, well, our last of this size bag. All right. Do you want to talk about Oh, the yeah, sorry, bag? sorry. I was just admiring, admiring. I know. It happens to me, too. I'll zone out on the screen because I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
Um, so this is another neck bag. Um, put that twelve up there. Um, so the, again, this is beaded on um, on smoked buckskin, so giving it that night that buckskin to hide that nice smoky color. Um, so these are all done in size um, thirteen beads. Um, they're actually pouches. Tobacco really, yeah, in there, tobacco, stones. some stones, some sage, whatever you need. Little pictures of your grandbabies. <laughs> or I'm all for just having it and displaying it or putting it like in your china cabinet, wherever you put your like treasures. Oh yeah. I have two treasure cabinets. Yeah. Um, hi Devin from upstairs, I think. I'm not sure where you are actually, but hi. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is 450. How long did it take you to make this one? Oh my gosh, you know, like I said, like it's so hard, hard to, to cut the ba the leather and everything, right? Yeah, like you have to measure everything out. Um, so like the whole process before you even get started is a lot of work, right? Like you have to measure everything out. You have to come up with plan your, your design, plan your design, your colors. This one um, hangs at 16 inches. Oh, so try it on. You have to pick out your colors, your design, measure everything. To get yourself all situated. Oh, I like this one. I do and like too. I said, like these are great to like layer. Um, you can have other jewelry going on. Um, you can have your big, great earrings. They're so unique. Mm -hmm. We've never had anything like this on the show for sure. And it's just something like that you just aren't gonna see a lot anywhere mm -hmm. from anybody. Mm -hmm. That's Definitely. what I like about it. And I really don't do jewelry all too often either, which is why I was really excited to be here. Today. <laughs> That's a good segue into your next piece, which is not <laughs> jewelry. <laughs> And then we'll go back through everything, guys. Um, and if you want to see something, something's catching your eye that you'd like us to pull up, just let us know. If you're watching the show after the live has finished, everything is still going to be for sale. Um, just email us at hello at tsguys.com. Call us at 862-9443 or direct message us. Uh, whichever piece you're interested in, let us know and we'll be sure to get that to you. We just need your email address to be able to invoice you. Yes, collector's items for sure, Carol. All right, let's look at that last. Um, oh my God, you brought that on Wednesday and it was. Yeah, so this incredible. is um, this is more of an art piece. Um, this is actually it would be a women's uh, dance bag. Um, but let's go to camera two. This is something that you would see more in a collector's home. Um, so this is a really fun piece. Um, this is something that I, I actually did when I was pregnant um, with my daughter and it was something really exciting for me to do because, you know, we have these oral stories and these oral traditions that talk about um, the connection that women have with the earth. You know, our creation stories talk about when uh, people were created, women were created first, and they were created to mimic the earth because they have the ability to create life, to nurture life, and to care for life. And so that's why we must always, you know, um, be connected with the earth as women. And so when I was pregnant, I, I like, those stories hit different. Yeah. Like you, I mean, you know, you know mama. <laughs> and all the mamas out there watching. Yeah. You feel it. And, um, and you feel so connected to absolutely everything. Everything. Things um, that never bothered you or affected you before, suddenly you're crying and yeah, feeling it on a soul, soul level. So I wanted to do something that, that really kind of spoke to, to that connection that I was beginning to feel. And so um, this is um, all done in size 13 seed beads, the beadwork portion. Then, that white dragonfly up there is actually porcupine quill work. Um, because again, symbolizing that, you know, we're talking about life here. The, the dragonflies were connected to the water as well as the florals. You know, if you're traveling and you're being nomadic on the Northern Plains, flowers meant water. Hmm. Um, which means life. Which means life. And then tell us a little bit about this here. Um, so that green that you're seeing done in a porcupine quill work technique is actually sweet grass. So that is sweet grass you're looking That's at. That's amazing. What's the price on this one? Um, that is actually 5000 I wouldn't accept a penny less for it if I were you. I love this piece. And, and the, the thing that I think I appreciate most about it is, um, you know, thinking about, you know, I was pregnant. So many memories doing it sewn and, into this. Yeah, and when I finished with it and I kind of like stood back, I saw a lot of my mom in it, like her mm -hmm. color use and everything. Like I just, I was like, wow, I really see my mom in that piece. 
it's an emotional piece. I know, I feel like emotional just <laughs> hearing about it. And then Mama's over there. Oh, I love that you brought her today. I uh, I just love this. This is fun. So and then so this color that um, this backing that we see and everything and then around the edging. So this is all um, this is all wool, so trade wool, and then so these are antique beads going down the the sides. This nice pink color. So these are white hearts. Oh wow. Um, and so this is like a spot stitch, right? So we have like multiple stitches going on here. So like we got quilt work techniques. We got um, like applique stitch with the background. That creates that like contoured um, depth to it um, and then the sweet grass is done with the technique um, the spot stitching um, around the border is another technique as well it's like a hump stitch um, and then of course the handle is all beaded as well and then the inside I line it with um, with a vintage um, material so like I am a sucker for like vintage handkerchiefs um, doilies is that what this white is yeah so that's all oh. vintage um, like hand embroidered material oh wow. that I salvage. it is it's like a little uh, 1940s inky yeah or something yeah like I, I love that's vintage, awesome. like embroidered material I'm so much thought go went into every single detail of this <laughs> I just want to keep staring at it this definitely needs to be framed and hung and cared for properly when it goes home with someone. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to go back through everything one more time. Starting with number one. Everything is opposite from so like. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, just quickly run us through some of the details on this one, Jessa. Um, so this is another neck piece. Um, so great use of blues, that pop of green, all done on smoked buckskin, um, size 13 C beads. Love those colors, those star designs in there. Um, and, and it has a nifty little pocket. And that's her signature. Mm-hmm. I'm JJT. There you see me. So I've got a little pouch in there. Mm -hmm. So this is number one going for 450. So number one. All right, and now we are going on to number three, number two sold. So number three here are three tier dragonflies with 24 karat gold seed beads. Oh, look at that shimmer. Do you see that shimmer just there? So shimmery. So all of the these beads are 24 karat gold. So that's 350. It's 350 on for this one. And we have that beautiful garnet berry color. These are actually mountain designs in here. Oh there you go. There you can see it. See that triangular pattern in there? It's a mountain design. A lot of let's go to camera three. A lot of dangle and movement on these. They're very playful, very joyful. They signify life, water. We all know water is life. Mother, Mother, of, Tony. Mother of Pearl dangles at the bottom. Completely one of a kind. Yes, I, I don't replicate. Everything is one of a kind. So these are number three. I'm going to pull number four for me. <laughs> Here, I'll hold it. <laughs> Go. Can you just lay them? Yeah, let's lay them. Okay. Because now I don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so these are four. had one job, Jessica. I know. One job. One job. Don't touch the merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's precarious. We don't really have proper displays for a lot of different things that we sell. Okay, so these are four. Everything that looks silver is silver. Sterling silver beads. 
Which camera am I on here? Where am I? <laughs> Holden, is this two? Two. Okay. Oh, boy, what's happening? So these also have the mountain designs in them in pink and a little bit of a berry color. And these are three twenty-five. Three twenty-five for these. A little bit of abalone there mm -hmm. and a tassel. These are all completely handmade by Jessa. Everything that sells today goes towards goes to her and to her beautiful family and her new little baby, Nuna Marie. I should have had you bring in a little picture of her. She's so cute. <laughs> so these are number four. Number four. Dragonfly can dingles. I, do you think I can I, do it? I don't know. I think you're cut off. <laughs> I would hate for the buckskin to touch this floor that we probably have never ever cleaned. All right, we've got our Montana blue on these mm -hmm. three tiered dragonflies. I love this color. Oh my god. I want just to paint everything this color now. And again, these are 325. 325, and these are number five. Number five. Let's go to camera two. Just want you to see this beautiful color. And the beautiful thing about seed beads too is that they have a bit of opalescence in them. So mm -hmm. when they catch the sunlight, there's just a rainbow effect that happens. So these are number five. Okay, dokie. I'm, I'm not touching. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. And number six. These are the two tiered ones. beautiful those berry colors are. Mm -hmm. It looks so gorgeous with the gold. 24 karat gold beads on these guys. A little abalone teardrop down there. And these are, what, you said 275? 275. 275 for these guys. Beautiful. Number six. She's got a system, guys. <laughs> like pick up sticks, but with jewelry. Did you, ever, did you guys ever play that game? Pick up sticks? You oh, had to like yeah. lay sticks together? Okay. Is there number seven? I'm not even allowed to touch the table. Yeah. <laughs> Sterling silver and what color would we call this? Just turquoise? Uh, yeah. Turquoise, and this has that iridescent shimmer to it as well, and I love the little stars at the bottom. Which are abalone right in front of a mother of pearl. Price on these are two seventy five. Two seventy five. All one of a kind and handmade. We have the artist with us here today. Oh my god, my nails! I was playing in the dirt. <laughs> I keep buying plants and gardening. I can't control myself. It's becoming a. <laughs> Coming with like a thing where I'm like, oh my god, I can't even go by the plant store. I'm not allowed. Is there seven? Oh, I smell those roses. They smell so good. These are eight. Our morning stars. The beautiful spring green and 24 karat gold. These are three fifty. Three fifty for these babies. I love how these ones dance. Mm -hmm. They just remind me of star like actual stars, you know? Yeah. Let's go to camera Definitely. two for a little close up. Eight. We have, oh 
only two pairs of morning stars. We've got the green ones and the blue ones. Ooh, we sold some. Um, Rosalind oh. Perez. These ones, Thank correct? You. These are the ones you want, Rosalind, right? Number six. Thank you so much for supporting. We really appreciate it. That's a good choice, too. Those ones are muy beautiful. I think I don't have the right number. There we go. All right. Oh, these ones are so pretty. These ones really have the morning star feel to them because of the colors. Oh, totally. It makes you think of dawn, a beautiful time of day, such a prayerful time of day. I love these. And that, just Me that too. little detail of that extra star in the middle of that pink. Do the green ones not have that little detail? No, the green ones that are different, those green ones have like a really nice um, gold square in the middle of them. Yeah, they are different. Yeah, I like this. It reminds me of a quilt a little bit. Mm. Kind of. Number nine, and these are 350. This is all sterling silver here along the sides. 350 for these. Number nine. She's so delicate. <laughs> you should see me trying to balance like tiny little pins on a piece of turquoise. Like, <laughs> it's because when I do my jewelry photography, I have absolutely like no, nothing that makes sense. Like I don't have anything to put, like there's a stuff called museum wax to like stick things to so that they could be suspended. And I don't have any of that stuff, even though I could just go to the store and get it. So I just balance everything. <laughs> I just do it the hard way, the long, hard way of like. Is that the right number? Number 10. Oops. Oh, can you, can you talk number 10? Thank you. It's hard <laughs> to see back here what's going on. Oh my gosh, I love the colors on these floral earrings. They almost look like little corn cobs. <laughs> and these little hearts are mother of pearl. have so much movement well they all do really but I think that's what that's my favorite thing about them aside from the colors and the designs and everything like that is I just love the way that they move with the body oh they are extremely light in weight like these are uh, these are not heavy mm -mm, <laughs> not, not at, at all. all let's go to camera two all done on buckskin so like really nice, really nice coloring on the back. They're sturdy, well. but they appear delicate, mm -hmm. which reminds me of flowers or women, all strong, mm -hmm. but delicate. Number eleven. These are three seventy-five. Yes. Oh, well, these. Those two. are ten. You're on ten right now. I'm on ten. No, I asked the you're, price. You're... Did I say eleven? Oh, God, I'm still, um, okay. I was reading what he was typing. I thought he was behind, but I'm just ahead. Okay, so these are number 10, 375. I'll stop confusing everybody. And now we will go to 11. Probably because 11 are my favorites. <laughs> so everything is lightweight, but these... These next ones are going to be a little bit lighter than the ones we just had because the, the drop is a tassel instead of a shell. So it gives it a little bit more of a... But I'm not mean, like they're heavy. Yeah, they're so, like, I can feel the difference, but that's it, just, like, the difference between a butterfly and a bumblebee or something. <laughs> <laughs> little tassels on these. These are super sweet. I just love those colors. Like they're kind of like a more mellow approach to a Dakota floral, which are otherwise, you know, these very bright sporadic colors. Mm -hmm. Like these feel a little bit more mellow to me. Um, Pinks and greens look so lovely together. And the thing about a good earring is like, you can either dress them up or even just go casual and just put some really That's what great... I love about earrings. Yeah. 
If you have a really fabulous pair of earrings, that's all you need. Yeah. Just throw on your earrings, jeans, and a t-shirt, and you're dressy. Yeah. That's actually one of my survival tricks that I tell, like, my stepdaughters, is as long as you have a pair of earrings in your purse and some lipstick, you'll always look like you're dressed up in a, in a pinch. It's <laughs> my trick. <laughs> so these are number 11. Now for our last necklace, number 12. Oops, I'm going to put 11 back. I'm having issues with this <laughs> number for some reason. There we go. Again, those those two blues, right? Um, really great use of blues. Um, a pop of red going around the border. Um, that hint of pink in the center. Um, I just love the, using yeah, those color combinations. Even on the sides there. Yeah. Very thought out. And it's a little pouch, just like the other ones. Tons of fun. I love them. I love being able to Let's layer. layer. Let's yeah, do it. there you Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Oops. Some North Meat South right there. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> And this is our squash blossom that we are selling and giving the profit to Changing Women Initiative. It's item number 100. It's $3,000. Changing, Changing Women Initiative is a local 501c3 nonprofit that we're partnering with this month. Um, they uh, have midwives, home birthing services, and a clinic, a free clinic. So all the profit of this guy will be going to them. Let's see. Layerable. Is that a word? It is now. Yeah. Dubbed it. All right. <laughs> before we pop off, does anybody want to see anything before we leave? These will still be on sale after we um, are no longer live anymore. If you're watching this later in the day, just let us know what you want and we'll make sure and get it to you. Um, and I hope you guys do find some homes for these. Otherwise, I'll be tempted to take them all home with me somehow. I don't know how I would do that, <laughs> but <laughs> I would sure want to. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us this Saturday afternoon. We appreciate you so much. Um, well. Is there anything you want to say? No, thank you all for having me. This was a lot of fun. Like I said, like I, I, I mean, I'm I, everything takes so long. I have a busy toddler, um, so I, I appreciate having something like to work towards and mm. like being able to have fun and play. Um, so this was just a lot of fun. Thank you all for having me. Sure thing. All right, everyone. We'll see you here again next week. Mm -hmm.